Hey gals and guys, this is War Turtle here from Lexi's Help Desk, and today we're going to talk about how to create the custom loot groups that you uh, need in order to sort the plugins for this guide. So, on Lexi's website, if you go to the prerequisite page, uh, there is a section on installing loot. This is where you'll find instructions on creating custom loot groups. Make sure that you follow them all. You need to run loot at least once outside of Mod Organizer before you even start this uh, to make sure that the master list updates properly. Uh, and you can see here are those instructions on how to do that. I'm not going to go through those. But let's go ahead and create the custom loot groups that we have down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to Mod Organizer. Uh, you're not going to see all of the mods that I've already installed. Uh, so your left pane will look different. But your right pane will look like this. You'll see the master file plugins. Left click on the executable bar and scroll down. Choose Loot. Then left click on Run and Mod Organizer 2 will then load Loot. Once it's done parsing metadata, you'll see the master plugins listed. You need to make sure that you're actually running Skyrim Special Edition. That's what this guide is. If for some reason you're running TES5 Skyrim, that's the Legendary Edition and you need to uh, change that. Otherwise the master list loot groups will be incorrect. If you go to the three dots in the upper left hand corner and left click, you find Open Groups Editor. Click that and you'll now see the master list of loot groups. If you don't see this and it's empty, that's because you didn't run loot outside of Mod Organizer 2 at least once to update the master list. If the, uh, there are a whole bunch of lists, uh, sorry, a whole bunch of groups that don't look right, it's because you have the legendary edition. Now, having said that, the master list of groups does update over time, so it may not look identical to what you see here. Um, this is just how it looks at the time of me making this video. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to move your mouse up to the right and left click in Add a New Group. This is where you need to go back and look at the web page and the text of what I'm going to do is all right there. The first thing we're going to do is type the name of our first loot group. That's going to be Trivial Smelters of Skyrim. When we do that, let's press Enter and you'll see over on the left, there's a new loot group that's been created. I'm going to left click and hold that down in order to drag it over to the right. First, we need to connect it to our main branch. So I'm going to click Late Loaders. You'll see it's selected because it tells you that up here. And the dot turns to a ring. If I hold down the left mouse button on Late Loaders, and drag, I can create a new branch, and I'm going to drag that over to Trivial Smelters of Skyrim. When I let go, it becomes green. That's how you know that it's set up correctly. <clears throat> so I'm going to type in the rest of my, patch, uh, my loot groups now. The first is MLU Patches. The next, Merge Patches. The next, I want Patches. NPC retextures. Consistency patches. And lastly, conflict resolution. We have one more group that we need to add later, and that's Arth Moore's villages. Now, I'm going to bring each of these groups over in order and attach them to the branch. I'm going to left click, drag, grab the next one, bring it over, left click, drag. And I'm going to keep doing this until I have all of them in place. You can see if you don't click it directly, uh, it will move the groups uh, kind of in the frame. And, you know, the exact positioning doesn't really matter. Uh, loot will end up uh, organizing it for you when you're done. 
So consistency patches goes to conflict resolution. And then to close the branch, I'll click conflict resolution and drag it over to leveled list modifiers. Now when I do that, the entire branch turns gray and you know that you've completed the branch. Lastly, we need to add Arthmore's villages. That gets added between low priority overrides and high priority overrides. Left click, drag, left click, drag. And with that, you're done. You go down here to apply, and loot will dump you back out, uh, or the, back out into the main part of loot. When you do that, and you end up in mod organizer. So you've finished installing the loot groups. These won't actually be used until finishing line when we sort plugins, but you're done. The, the reason that we do this in the first place is so that we can use Loot as a tool to help us sort the plugins into the order required by the guide. The master list of Loot and the rules associated with each plugin are submitted by users, verified by the Loot team, and then added to the rules of Loot. And, and for our guide, sometimes we don't want that. We want a certain plugin to load before a different one in order for the record that we want to win to actually win. Loot was not designed to work with over 600 plugins and get them all right in the order that we want because we deal with all the, cus the conflict resolution with a custom CR file. So, uh, so that's why we're doing this. Um, and I hope that the rest of the guide install goes well for you. If you have any questions about this process, please come over to the help desk. Everybody there is always happy to help.